today's date? Seven. Today is the 7th of November. I am in New York City, um, Manhattan to be exact. And today is a special day because um, I'm in town to celebrate my best friend's birthday, David. Um, he is having an event. He's had a, a couple of events the whole weekend, but because I've been a little under the weather, I couldn't make it to any. Um, it's important to get healthy because um, a healthy layman is a layman that can make money. When I'm sick, that affects my money. So I can't be on nobody's bed of affliction. So I had to like forego the events to like kind of get myself together. But I feel much better now and today is his last, um, I guess, celebration. Um, he's having a open mic uh, thing at the Village Underground with Cheryl Pepsi Rally. And so he does not know that I'm in New York for it. He didn't know that I flew out here this morning uh, just to, you know, support him and to just to take part in it. So. I'm excited about it. Um, I just got off the phone with him and he really thinks that I'm not here. So um, that's the funny part about it. But um, it should be a very good experience. So I'm excited. You want to be on camera? Sure. Right now, see I take that pause just in case you say no. That way I can <laughs> edit it out. So. Until then, um, I'm just going to be chilling. That event starts at like 9.30 tonight, but right now it's uh, like 2 o'clock. And I'm chilling in the Concrete Loop office um, in Midtown, New York. Um, and I'm with one of the editors, I mean, excuse me, one of the bloggers of Concrete Loop. Her name is Christine. She just so happens to be a really good friend of mine. Chicago bred, New York paid. And here she is right here. Hi. Excuse me, I look right now, you know. I'm in the office, so you know. Don't need to be all fancy fancy for nobody today. And so. you see, this is her blogging um, for Concrete Loop, um, doing some posts. That's the big old Concrete Loop sign. Make sure you check out ConcreteLoop.com. So, as an independent artist, oh, this is a good shot right here. You see the Concrete Loop in the background. <laughs> So as an independent artist, um, <clears throat> let me turn it over. So as an independent artist, it's really important to get on websites like Concrete Loop and other popular websites because, um, of course, it's great for publicity. Um, when they feature you, um, you're able to reach a demographic that you may not necessarily can on your own, like through Twitter or Facebook. It introduces you to a new audience. But also, in my own personal experience, I've been featured on Concrete Loop as well as a, a lot of other popular blogs. It's helped me with my international appeal because what it is is a lot of overseas blogs, they look at those blogs to get their content. Um, as you saw in my uh, video when I went to Paris, I was just chilling at the Eiffel Tower and um, a dude who was really like into the music scene recognized me and he told me that he got my uh, information from a popular French blog which got their pop their information from like Concrete Loop and Global Grind and some other blogs that I was um, featured on so it's really important to kind of reach out to these blogs you know give them your material and you have to be consistent um, I can truly say out of my own experience I reached out to Concrete Loop for a very very long time until I got posted on the site so you can't let um, no discourage you or you just can't let them not being necessarily uh, quick to respond to discourage you because once once they give you that yes it really does change your um, career and it puts you on a different category because a lot of people that make great music still don't get a chance to be featured on these okay. so we're at what's this place called pronounce this ma'am Kiocha on 5th Avenue and 32nd Street. Uh, my friend Angel recommended this. And I just ordered the honey chicken. Say hi to the camera, Angel. Hi, yes, my hair look crazy. It don't look crazy, it look fly. That's, yes. my, that's my next hairstyle, y'all. Yes. <laughs>
90 calories. No problem. So the combo comes with the fountain drink, so let's walk it. Well, I'll take her value. Okay, she'll have my fountain Okay, we'll do that. Oh, that's right. Okay, so we got some honey chicken, and this is good. I am eating it with chopsticks. The reason why I eat food with chopsticks is because, you know, I ain't got arthritis now. But when I get older, and if it kick in, I won't be able to do this. So, this is my worship. <laughs> Don't judge me. But the chicken is really good. Is it good? It's good. You want to be on camera? I don't know. This is Mikhail from the Scorpion Show with Kevin and Mikhail. And he's eating the chicken. Is it good? It's very good. And this is Christine, who's eating like it's her last supper. As it is. <laughs> so let's enjoy this food, Will. I'll let you later. Don't think I'm running with that board. With that board. Stop. 
become the sun and I become the earth. Then God, you make my world go, world go round. Said God, you make my world go, world go round. Cause you can't get to my world, the world around. Girl, you make my world go, world go round. You never make me say, so take the way I'm feeling. I know your every move, so won't you just let me be? I've been there times before, I was so glad to see. Where do you suppose every man? It's time to go. She's saying that's okay. Hey, baby, do what you want. I am the stuff that you want. I have the thing that you need. She knows. see last night was amazing I am so happy that I came um, because you know my best friend David was truly surprised that I showed up and not only that I was able to see him and his mother and his and meet some of his other friends but as well as see some people who I admire as singers and as uh, just artists um, <clears throat> I got a chance to see um, a young man named T Soul. He's a gifted um, artist from Virginia, and he's been really supportive of me, and I've been supportive of him. And he actually has his album out. Um, it's called Love and Music. I believe that's the name of his album. I got it right here, just to make sure I'm giving it. Yep, Love and Music. And um, it's a very great project, and the thing I love most about his project is he took the resources that he had and put them together. And I think that's really important because people feel like you need to have a lot of money to do certain things. Granted, stuff does cost, but relationships can be even more valuable than money at times. And he did what he had to do to create relationships with people to get his project out. And it came out. And then I got to see the amazing Kimberly Nicole. I mean, Kimberly Nicole seriously is one of the best performers I've ever seen. Not not independent, not major, just period. Um, she's able to take someone else's song and make it hers and her own music is great. Um, her style is great. The thing I love most about Kimberly Nicole is she knows how to separate Kimberly, I'm not going to tell you her last legal name, from Kimberly Nicole. Those are two different people. And when she hits the stage, she like morphs into just this phenomenal singer. It's so interesting to see the transformation. And I truly can say I learned so much from her. And uh, it's not that I want to steal anything from her, but just the way she gets mentally prepared to perform on stage is just, it's really phenomenal to see. 